Okay, a lot of things have been dying. We're down to the last of the three units that are basically around. Um, I've separated the command unit from the commissar basically to kind of break up the kill points because of the power of the flaming um, templates from these uh, flamers. The other units kind of moved in, get a little bit in range because they really can't do anything to the major walkers. The Valkyries kind of moved in to kind of get in range to kind of drop the payload on them. Bloody Cody stay put. The Shire and Halflings will stay put. And the uh, Vulture, because of where it was, really had to kind of spin around. I didn't want to take it off the board because I don't know if I can actually kind of maintain the quad gun, and that would give an opportunity to kind of take shots on that. So, kind of working that type of angle for that. And we're going to get back to last two, please. Yeah. I'm desperate on that last two, John. I'll waste that. Yeah, I think the best. The heavy bolts are on the gun itself. So that is only one hit. Now I need a six on it. It didn't happen with the gun, so that's not going to be Snipers can't do anything, so they're pretty much going to take on the gun again. No, no, I mean, Shire on the squad gun. Everybody hit. Take it away. So the Shire is really going to help. They cause five rending hits on the gun and one normal save. Right, and then one again. Yep. So these are going to be the five. Five of Wow. It's gone. It's gone. Let's send another crack missile into the decimator. He missed. On the plasma gun. He missed. The bloody coats do nothing there. Alright. Only one missing pod right in here. We're gonna go for. We're gonna go for the blue scribe. Bullseye. So it's gonna be him and the four flamers underneath. Multi laser. One hit. The multi laser needs a two to wound. It does. There are five models and toughness for four, so these need to be forced. Three wounds there from the bubble. So, um, closest from the Valkyrie is going to be the regular two flames, so it's basically five up in long. And I make one, so one's going to die, and then one's going to die. That's more of the arc from them. We're now going to fire I have 20 rates in the air. Maybe <laughs> give him the fire fire ring. Oh, easy pass. No one 24, but no one fire there. Heavy bolter, two left. Four hits. A three is the wound. Two wounds from there. Splinter Axe only works on rifles and pistols. What? And the toughness four. So these need to be fives. Three more. Uh, it's going to go 
uh, seven, which would be three inches. Seven, no, four inches. It's going to get one flamer and the blue scribe for two. Third one, second one. That is going eight inches. I'm going to hit that, which I can't hurt. Third last shot. Uh, seven, so again, four inches that way. So the two models there. So I need One roll. So from that squad, we got one closest there. Take two on him. Five up. He makes one. He's got one more left. Now he's dead. Now that pyrocaster is the character, so he's going to have a four up. Look out, sir. Doesn't make it. So five up in low on himself. Doesn't make it, so he's taking a wound. And then he'll try it again. Four up, look out, sir. Doesn't make it. Five up in low. Doesn't make it. He's dead. And then now we are on to a regular one again with a five up in low. Doesn't make it, so he's going to take it. Yeah, so put the Aether Sails on it, get a 36 inch movement, and pop, 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 just... Plasma gun right here. Oh, the Venom? Oh, the Venom. Yeah. Oh, Venom. Fuck, Raider. Dead. Oh, one hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Plus, that means you're getting really close to those things. I'm going to go on really like my day one. I'm going to fire the 36-inch safety. Just keep flying over the whole thing. Here. And then they can come back. So, bottom of turn five, um, I basically separated my blue scribe off of my flamers, I gelled them off separately here, hoping to pervane these guys into a clump and then roast them, and then he's going to try to kill the commissar and some other guys. The soul grinder moved this way, hoping to kill some of the red coats. Uh, the decimator also moved this way, hoping to blow some of them. And now we want to shoot this. So, blue scribe is going to pervane these guys. His first shot, and then he's gonna shoot a breath of chaos at these guys. And this guy, the second. So the main is four hits. Now to watch this to see if he actually does the breath. He doesn't. So he's actually gonna pervade that guy too. So see if he hits him. He does hit him. So we're gonna move the Steel Legion guys one inch. We're gonna move the Palmasar two inches. So we're gonna move the I feel like a pup. I don't watch trees. I'm a real boy. I'm a real boy. It's gonna hurt. Alright, so one. Let's take. So his flamer is gonna hit the Homosar and the gun and get one, two, three, four, five guys. They put the last gun in one of them? Okay. These guys are gonna get. Hey, <laughs> 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 
because of the rage of the flamer, though, this heavy team will last four can't die. These four models of these starters can all come and not die. No, they can die as long as they're in line of sight, right? Well, I thought it was the range of the weapon. If templates aren't range, they just hit the squad. Okay. It's line of sight. They still get over the hill. So I have one hit on the commissar from the blue sky. It doesn't do anything. One hit, on, one hit on the last cannon. It does. Ignores armor and cover. So it's going to basically do a wound to that. And then these are the 25 on the Steel Age guys. And they just need a four up as well. A whole bunch of ones and threes and twos. God, a terrible roll. Two, four, six, eight, nine guys dead. Their flame is only strength three? It's no strength. It just wounds on a four up, oh. period, and ignores armor, and it draws a glance on a four up as well. So it'll be any armor value. Absolutely. Okay. The armor comes up. No, I mean, I'm like. He's about to bring a whole lot of hurt to the blue scribe. Remember that well, we've uh, dropped this out of hover, uh, zoom to get in the hover to get over here, because if I get off the board, he's going to probably the game will end and it's not going to help very much. Move the little command team up to probably help with this. The commissar is still manning the last cannon. These guys have moved forward just to blast these guys. Hopefully, we can do enough death to them and worry about it. I was thinking about charging, and I remembered they got flamers. Bad, so do that. And of course, the bloody coats and them have maintained the position because they've been pretty well over there. So we'll just see what happens. So let's um, guess we'll start with the multi lasers. I'm still stuck. I've grown up using IAs. Multi lasers on the back of this thing. Five, four, four. One. Eight to four again. Uh, could load up. Huh? That is 10, 6. I don't know why, but we're on 10, right? 11. 11? 11's good. No, he is 10. He is 10. Now it's bad. My pen is with 11. Penetration is a 6. Now I'm about to roll the distance. One inch. Not gonna get it. Oh, 
Maybe a little overkill? 98, then I was like, when does the thousand? Bolter on the first drive. <laughs> Purple's heavy bolter, three will miss. So those are misses. Windows Vista, Microsoft's uh, Highlander 2. <laughs> So 5, 10, 15, 16 wounds to the blue stride. Thank you all for being here. Wipe in the peace. If anything else, that's okay. Alright, we're going to go out of command range. Yes, not going to help. Four guys are left with five of them. Got to fire into them. D4. Toughness is four still. Yep. Need fives. Well, nothing out of that. The last pistol. Completely miss. Commissar's bolt pistol. Evil. Heavy bolter. Two hits. Deep freeze. One wound. And two crack grenades, because it's not really going to change much. Oh, they both miss. Crazy. Crazy. The flame is going to make it. One. Five up in ball. Nope. All right, the command team, thankfully, will possibly help. He's in rapid fire range. They've managed to kill all of themselves, so we'll see what this last guy can do. One hit. He twos. Got him. That's tough. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Four. four. Yeah, you're four. Nope. Dead. Commissar is going to fire the last cannon at the big guy. He hit. This gun has ran out of batteries. What the heck? <laughs> the bloody coats crack into the side of the decimator. They hit. Many of four. No. Twelve inside. Let's go. He hit. No. Crazy. Crazy. Can I see these guys behind him? No. This is a bunch of crazy. But we're gonna try. Twelve inside. Well, annoying to me is I did want to upgrade the IE9. The Shire. Our hobbits are gonna sniper this guy. And hope for some crazy red. They took out some big stuff. Maybe they have it in them. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Here we go. So there's some hits. I get to allocate, but there's only one model. Now, I need sixes again. Just to get them to nine. There are two. So this makes it a nine. Now I need five or six. Well, will give me the 12. Okay. Holy Christ, the Shire! He's going to climb up in ball. The Shire just, pet, like, glanced on the hill that last minute. Climb up in ball. He doesn't make it. But how? So he took two off. Sniper! Oh, this sniper. <laughs> he's got how many? Three or four? No, you can't. He's only got three. How are you so he's dead. Oh, no. He's not dead. He's wrecked. He's a wreck down? Then at the beginning yeah. of my turn, I get an unholy vigor roll. Oh, so he's but he's down the ground. Back. 
This is the dirty part. He's still looking. Yeah. This is the dirty part. This yeah, it's all it's turned it's turned laying down. It's turned He's laying down. Back up. I got nothing else. I got nothing. <laughs> Is it a normal one? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the desk mate has this special rule um, called unholy vigor. When he gets wrecked, he can come back from death on the roll of a six. He returns, good to go, all his weapons ready, ready to go, just like he just eats from. On a one, he's removed from the table. On a two to a five, you get to continue to try each turn. So this is the big unholy vigor roll. Oh! The Shire has prevailed! They have prevailed! The new Shire. I might want to add, of all the stuff that's been on the table, the halflings have done about the most damage. Incredible. Insane. Here we go. Say guy. That's all. Most of all but two. Uh, there might be more guys right here. How many? Uh, uh, four? Five. Five? Still gets this dude. Three hits for that. So this is strength four. Two wounds from that. And this is strength eight. Nothing. AP? Nope. Oh, oh, so yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm going to go to ground. <laughs> and I'll take a wound, which is the lead guy here. He died. <laughs> I'm going to now charge them with that soul grinder. <laughs> uh, I can't do anything. And he's got fleet. What's his armor? No, but I have to do a can't use a walker. Thirteen to run. Uh, yes, and take the lowest. But if it's complete, I think we'll just make it two d six straight. Then. So you take the take the lowest. You can't do a roll. I still gonna re roll one to three dice. I can roll as many as I want. Yep. Like it'll be all. Wow. Two ones and two. Two and fives and six. We get ten inches. That will get them off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two ones and a two. Yeah, I know. Yeah. The only downside. I, I, I challenge you. You can't do anything. You don't got two. <laughs> you can't do anything, right? Uh. Yep. Three. Wait. 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 I rolled a one for my first time only bigger one. Too dead? Wash. Pick up on a summer. Or if you get the you get But if you roll one, I can disengage. If you roll I think it's a five or two, but if you flee, you'll probably go off the board. Six. Okay, so we got a 9 to 6, 0.5. One of the interesting things we were just kind of looking at a couple things was the only Imperial Armor vehicle that was still left is the Vulture. Uh, the Lightning did nothing. It cost more than the Vulture, it was dead. Uh, uh, one slaughter, I had the one really just bad thing. I ended up in the terrain and mobilized itself and sat there. Decimator was really fun. That thing, I did a lot of rolls. That really made the god, and made the stuff. An unbelievable. Uh, I, I can't wait to look at this video and come back to the Shire because I, I couldn't believe some of what they were doing. And they were kind of like an extra little thing I threw in there because we were kind of sniped by the because of the deployment, they're in this they're in the corner, they just put a lot of pressure on that corner there. They, they really played a pivotal role in this game there. Uh Pickers Cannon, I kinda like it. It was great in the first turn and then it just walked for me. I get the quad quite a bit. I was I was yeah. impressed with that. It took me 
Well, right. Why can't you think things that would stop if you had good footage? It really did good. Yeah. yeah. It was just because the force of odds is when I think that's just what it right. is. Right. Especially when I'm looking at a lightning and armor 10. It's yeah. It's a big difference. And when I got a peek at rear armor, you know, man. Yeah. And that's the, that's the thing about people that realize when they do bring the flyers, they're very, very hard. Only the vulture didn't do it. That can handle it. And it was, it was one round you couldn't do. You didn't have to leave the You put pressure on the flyer, you can do it real well. Um, a lot of the normal stuff, you know, the big platoon did, did his job on the normal part of that. Uh, um, the new rules were played with the captain. That, that was actually really interesting. It was the rest of the town. It was part of the drones. Uh, that was my biggest stuff. And, and I like the streamers too. I, I was aware of them. You know, part of the danger. I put a lot of pressure on them. 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 They missed that. So I was able to kind of keep them away from the bus. And they're only about to be playing the streamers. I'm not thinking about so. it. Um, a couple things to note, like the Beast of the, the Beast of Slanage, I kind of lost some of the player. I remember the fight against the Beast of Slanage, I think it was the day one, Overwatch, big guard units, really big guard units, guys. The conscripts at being 32 or more elite of Beast of Slanage, I thought they actually caused a lot of problems. That's good. And the Commissar, the Lord Commissar, the Aura, that means how they do that. This is the leadership to a lot of the fight. There was good tactics. I hope you picked up a lot of this stuff like that, but I think the game was fought very hard, very well. There was a lot of good luck on my own. I might have really hard to do a bad luck on my part. And it was one phase. I only had one bad phase in this part, and you had really good luck. Other than that, you probably did pretty good damage on all stuff. Well, guard's always a bad matchup for defense anyway. And then, you know, in this case, getting out for half. Not getting my flamers and my scribes in until turn four. Yeah. And the Commissar and the World War Tree. Because yeah. they're basically the meat and potatoes of this event. So they kill stuff. Yeah. You know, where Overwatch is so deadly now to the assaulting units of the Demon Codex, and they have the high saves, it's even worse now than it was in Fifth Edition. So, you know, like the Screamers, I said, I think that really made a mistake for them. And they should have been doing their flyby slashing attacks yeah. rather than facing that Overwatch from that sturdy man. Squad because they just killed too many of them, and then I didn't have enough attacks to do enough damage in combat to do what I needed. And the save being bumped a little bit back made it a little bit more fun to combat in combat. Um, one of the things I do want to note, I've been kind of looking around, I thought the World War Tree was the most that the overall haven't been very effective in that game. This one, they played a pivotal role. I got a free action pass from the Mine's Rock. Good thing you had to do something for that. This could have been a worse situation. I was given a lot of very poor. Poor old role for a reserve, and this could have been a really shooting down. Thank God, you know, really kind of helped counter back each other. I thought that would be a three. Yeah, I mean, I've tried to get that Warlord trade in numerous games and never got it before. So that's the first time I get it, and then of course, when he takes it away, it's <laughs> minus one. Yeah. What do you and, and then the, another good point, too, is like I was fighting Steve quite a bit. The icons always were pretty safe in the second round. The demon player, you had to think about it more because it was a phase where you end up losing because of the heavy fire. I don't think ever Now, all of a sudden, they're vulnerable, they were taking fire, and it's just because they were aware of the level of the fire. That's a place for it, like I said. And then when you got stuff like flyers coming in to pump the angles, trying to hide that icon, so yeah. no matter what angle, he's coming. He's protected by the team. Right, right. So, a fabulous game. Once again, it was awesome, awesome. I'm glad we did this, and I really hope you guys do well. The Imperial Armor units that were in the game and really look at how they were engaged in damage because the entity is honest about them. They are not overpowered. I mean, the lightning goes more than the motion. It's already gone. Never even caught a single casualty. Blood Rage did also. Blood rage. He, he did no damage. So two Imperial Armor units, no damage on the board whatsoever. A couple other ones did pretty good damage, uh, but some of them were isolated. You know, kind of like a little wrong, but it's just a little wrong. Right, you look at the cost of the Song Grinder versus the Decimator, for instance. The Decimator, I think, was 248 points in this game. I had one of them down there. The Song Grinder was 160. That's the way they were slamming in the battle game, basically. Yeah, but it was a great So. Now, it's a lot more expensive. The armor's not even as good on the decimator, so uh, I've never had a lot of It's just different models, different units, something fun. Yeah. And, it, and it definitely made some more interesting aspect of that. I think it really did. Check it out. 
comment below. Subscribe to Spectre Studio. Let us know what's kind of going on. I hope you enjoyed this. I know I had a great game. I can't wait to see this one again. And we'll see you next time on the next uh, Spectre Studio Batman.